benefits, right, signing on, cost five billion a year. Tax avoidance costs 25 billion a year. Who's the problem then? Who's the reason there's a poor white working class? Is it because of people signing on? Is it because of immigrants? Or is it because there's a super rich elite taking all the money? That's a rhetorical question. The answer is the super rich elite. <laughs> so like, I don't think we should Do focus on- Do you see yourself on... as part of the super rich elite? I don't, I'm well off, of course I am. And like, you know, under the utopian system that I'm describing, I would get less money, definitely. That's why you should trust me. I've got nothing to gain from this thing. But like, I'm not the problem. I'm not trying to stripe up people that got a couple of cars and are doing all right for themselves. I'm saying for super rich, corporate elites that are siphoning off into tax havens billions of dollars pounds 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 who cares it's all bullshit but like you know like and 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 not contributing to this society i've given you the example of philip green if that was like you know say me i don't mind that stuff they got in top shops i mean that vintage stuff is all right but that bloke's at 1.2 billion quid he ain't paid in tax so wouldn't it be a good thing to not get stuff out of top shop it'd be hard because you'd forget i'd probably forget i say stuff like this and think, oh shit i'm in top shop you know because <laughs> it's hard to avoid the system look at me i've got like you know i've got sexy trainers on and all that philip, stuff just to be fair to philip green he would say i'm paying the taxes that required him and not break any laws well yeah and then that's exactly the problem because the system is set up, set up to benefit people like philip green you know like uh, the system is set up for him to avoid taxes in a cozy way you know like it's all right we need that to not be possible not be possible take the money off him you one point two billion is for his missus in Monaco. We'll uh, have that, mate. I don't know if it was 1.2 billion, but it was, yeah, it was a lot of money. I don't know. Are we having it anyway? I don't understand numbers. <laughs> I think we should be allowed to go in. Ah, yeah, this is what I think. Like, support movements like Anonymous, Occupy, who do incredible work at UK Uncut. I think, with me, I would support Occupy, occupying top shops, going there just loafing about, being a total pain in the ass. I love them Occupy people, they're cool, they did something practical and for a while it worked, till the media goes, oh, they're crusties, they're hippies. Fuck, they're not scared of crusties and hippies, they're scared of the message. That's why I mean, he's a hypocrite millionaire, so don't worry about what he said, because the planet isn't being destroyed because of hypocrite millionaire. What, is the planet being destroyed or isn't it? Yes, but that doesn't change the hypocrite millionaire thing. Who gives a fuck about hypocrite millionaire? No problem, I'll be dead in 50 years, Max, you have my guarantee. So, like, <laughs> you know, what we want to focus on is things that matter. Don't let them distract you with personality and all that bullshit. Get on with what's proper. Occupy Topshop. Okay. <laughs> Lady there in the corner waving at me. You bloody flirt. <laughs> and then you goes, Hello. I don't remember you. Oh. <laughs> um, you talked about Philip Green. Um, you're in a privileged position where you get invited to a lot of parties, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Um, you went to a party that he threw to launch a top shop earlier this year. I wondered if you questioned him about his tax then. And if, if not, would do you plan to? Yeah. Right, you like the hostility. I believe the way boom comes at the end of that. <laughs> well, yeah, I did go to lot. I've been to loads of empires. Where is the person that said that thing? Wave your hand, wave your hand. It's right there. All right, mate. Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I go, like, I have been to a lot of them things. I have, I am, I'm not saying I'm talking from outside the system. I ain't floating around in some bubble of enlightenment. I ain't saying I'm different from you or better than you or nothing. I'm saying the opposite. I'm saying I'm the same as you. That I'm subject to failings and flaws. I've done terrible things in my life. I'm scum. I'm a scumbag, scumbag, dirty drug addict. I've done nasty, nasty things in my life. Nasty things that I'm ashamed of and I've got to live with. And pretty high up on that list is going to fucking parties by Philip Green. I'm uh, like, I'm like, yeah, I never see, I don't know what Philip fucking Green looks like, but I'll tell you what, mate, if I ever got to one of them parties again, I will ask him, because I woke up, I've been asleep, like all of us, I've been asleep because I've been distracted. It's nice to get a load of money. It's nice to get a load of attention. It's nice if you're a fat little kid growing up in Essex who thinks you're worthless, suddenly everyone's telling you you're great. It's gonna turn your head and fill you up, puff you up. But do you know what you notice in the end? Oh fuck, it's bullshit. I've been conned, I've been conned. Do you feel your omission? Yeah, 